Hey, it's John Gruff from WildmanTraining.com. I'm going to read something else from this book, The Comfort Crisis. A lot of good stuff in this book. All right, it says, uh, People now become slaves to their computer and think, Oh, I just have to exercise. I'll just go blast in the gym for 45 minutes, said Dr. McGill, the back health and fitness expert. That's a problem in terms of intensity and workload. People cross a biological tipping point. His work shows that people who sit all day then attack the gym have higher rates of back dysfunction compared to couch potatoes. Unfair, I know, he said. Which means, just like I said before, guys who go to the gym and go home and move their living room couch and hurt themselves. That's a fact. They sit all day at a computer, go to the gym to work out, come home, and hurt themselves. I'm telling you, a lot of things validate what I say. This isn't from me researching other than I've read a lot, but this is just from my life. A lot of guys out there will tell you that they know what it's like. Most of the guys that argue with me, very few of them have put in the blue-collar time that I have and the gym time. I know both sides. I know what works and what doesn't. And I know what works in the gym and I know what works outside the gym. Okay? Seeing I spend more time outside of the gym, it makes more sense to me to figure out what I need to do on the outside of the gym because the little stuff that goes on in the gym is not what happens outside. I said it before. There is no place that the bench press is useful. Even in football. It's not the heaviest and strongest bench pressers that are the best linemen. There's some, but it's not the majority. There's a lot of exercises in the gym that are useless. Your six-pack abs, other than looking good, are not real functional. Pay attention, man. It's not a bad book, man. Maybe you should grab it. The Comfort Crisis. Later.